So the globe trotting never stops, and now I'm in Hereford for the a kinsman maiden hurdle over three miles and two furlongs. So number one is Bell Kenyon for Alex Cherry. Two is Rolling Ball for Pontypool Racing. Three is Smiling Darling for Ben Bonici. Four, Wisdom for Alex Cherry, first time out, along with Clam Fraser for Stu Gray. And then six is Daydream Believer for Pontypool Racing, and Louise Practice for Martin Leader makes up seven, looking for a quick-fire double after his success in the last at Narvan. The stud has got him away. The three miles. Called up. Approach the first. Sixteen flights they have to take all over, and it's wisdom that's going to lead us. Needs practice and Bell Canyon. It's the fences, Clan Fraser in the black cells, and the inside of him is Rolling Ball. And Alex Cherry's second horse, Bell Canyon. And just to the rear is Daydream Believer. The great Clutterbuck. So as they come to the second, it's Wisdom that's probably going to lead them over it. Now wide Louise practice. They'll take it well. Blue Silks are smiling, dying for Ben Bonici running well. We go past the grandstand, plenty of crowd here at Hereford. There's the winning post. We we'll have to probably go past that another couple of times before we get a winner. And it's Wisdom that's leading us by a couple of lengths to wider Louise practice and smiling, darling Bell Kenyon. Just a length back to Rolling Ball, Clam Fraser, and a Daydream Believer. It's the wisdom leading us. A couple to Louise practice now. Smiling Darling, Bell Kenyon. Not sure what that uh, skyline is in the rear. In the rear, I don't think there's anything like that anywhere near Hereford. It's supposed to be out in the country, isn't it? So we get to the third. Everyone skips over that. Nice jump at the rear by Clam Fraser. the fourth and skips over that as well. So not much change, it's as we were, still wisdom from Smiling Dining and Louise practice, then a length or so back to Bill Kennan, Clan Fraser, and then Rolling Ball and Daydream Believer just bringing up the rear for Great Lutterbuck. So wisdom for Alex Jerry. Keep bowling along in front. Come to the next. Practice taking a still a bit of a hold from Smiling Darling on his inside and Bell Kennan to go over the six. Still Wisdom that leads us from Louis Practice moves into second on his own now from Smiling Darling in third and Bell Kennan is fourth. They do believe a three wide Clan Fraser and rolling ball between those. It's right handed now. Still got a couple of miles to run. So just done over a mile. It's wisdom that leads us from Louis practice, still being well held. Smiling Darling in third, Bell Kennan is still fourth, gets the seventh. The slow jump by Louis practice. And Alex Cherry's wisdom still leads by four to Louis practice. It's the eighth, halfway through the flights now. Probably gets over that reasonably well. He's made up a little bit of ground on the wide outside of Daydream Believer. Wisdom. Happy to be in front by three. So Louise practice in second. And Daydream believe the three wide. He's in third. Then Bill Kennan and Smiling Darling together. And Clan Fraser and Rolling Ball. He's bringing up the rear. So go to the ninth, which will be the last next time round. We'll get over it. And Benici Smiling Darling just stepped over that one a little bit and shuffles back towards the rear. So we go past the winning post for the last time. Time round, Wisdom will want to be there again. He's led us from pillar to post so far. Moved by about three to Louise Practice in second. Daydream Believer moves over towards the round now in third. We've got Bell Kennan and Rolling Ball. Clan Fraser up against the fence, taking a little bit of a hold. And smiling Darling. Then Benicia the rear. So it's still Wisdom that leads us by three to Daydream Believer. Oh, sorry, Louise Practice. Daydream Believer is in third. His teammate Bowling Ball is outside. Bell Kennan. Went to the tenth. A slow jump by the leader this time. And just uh, hurried along away from that hurdle. And his leads down to just a couple now to Louise Practice. The two grand clutch horses of Rolling Ball and Daydream Believer. 
Bell Ken on the inside. And the length or so back to the smiling darling and clan Fraser. Probably eight to ten lengths away from the leader. So we're inside the final mile. Jockey and Wisdom looks around, sees where those challenges are going to come from. It's probably going to be rolling the ball. It's going to be the first one to give him a headache. And it's Wisdom now being driven along. Just four to take, and it's Wisdom that's been driven along now to maintain the lead. Takes the twelfth well from Rolling Ball and Daydream Believer that stepped over a little bit. Louise Practice got the whip out now, and trying to close the gap. Bell Cannon still trying to run on the two of the rear of Smiling Diamond and Clam Fraser, but Wisdom still leads. Oh, he went straight through the top of that one and lost all momentum. And it's Wisdom starting to lose his lead by a couple of lengths now to Rolling Ball, but Bell Cannon is stable, mate, moving well up on the outside. Also running on now is Daydream Believer and Louise Practice, Clam Fraser and Smiling Diamond. I've got a lot to do from there as we come down to the final half mile. And it's Wisdom being challenged by his teammate Bell Cannon. A length or so back to Rolling Ball. Daydream Believer making up a bit of ground. Out wide is Clam Fraser and Smiling Darling as Louise Practice gives way. But Bell Cannon gets over the 14th better than Wisdom and pulls away. So Bell Cannon takes it up for Alex Cherry now by a couple of lengths to the slow in Wisdom. Rolling ball trying to run on Daydream Believer and there's nothing else really in this as they go over the penultimate as Bell Cannon still leads. Rolling ball's going to try and close the gap. We've got two furlongs to run and it's still Bell Cannon from Rolling Ball. Wisdom still running on. Daydream Believer smiling down and flying round the outside but still ten lengths off the lead with a furlong and a half to go. It's Bell Cannon still holding off Rolling Ball but Rolling Ball looks like he's got more momentum to Bell Cannon, Rolling Ball as they come down to the last, it's half a length in it, it's going to be down to the jump, Bell Cannon was a little bit slow, Rolling Ball got away from it better, so Bell Cannon and Rolling Ball inside the final quarter mile, and it's Rolling Ball, Rolling Ball from Bell Cannon, Rolling Ball, Rolling Ball takes it from Bell Cannon in the second, third was Wisdom, fourth was running on well with Smiling Darling, Daydream Believer, Clam, Fraser actually beat mine, it was Louis practice, which I'm surprised about, but a great win there for Alex Jerry. His horse wisdom set it up. Oh no, sorry for Graham Clutterbuck. Rolling ball, sorry mate. Wins it. Bell Kennan for Alex Jerry was second and third with uh, Bell Kennan and Wisdom. Fourth was Smiling Darling for Ben Benici. And fifth was Daydream Blaver. Graham Clutterbuck as well.